guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. We're up here on Vista Point up in the Beartooth Mountains. We want to talk about a little critter, this little guy right here. A lot of people see them, a lot of people feed them, but they don't know what they are. They're called Uinta chipmunks, or the hidden forest chipmunk. They're, you can tell what kind they are by those stripes that you see on the back. There's a whole bunch of them down here in the dirt. You know, the cool thing about these guys is they're herbivorous, which means they eat plants. A lot of times they're gonna eat a lot of the seeds that come off of these trees, these firs and these pines and what have you. However, if, if the winter is tough, they will eat dead animals, carrion, on the side of the road. It's not unlike them to find something like that or a bug to eat or something like that. But typically, it's mainly those seeds. Now these guys, of course, do den up during the winter time. So in all of these rocks down here, there's just probably thousands of dens that these guys are wintering up in. And they do usually stay awake during the winter. Sometimes they may even come out during the winter. Now a lot of these guys, you're gonna see, of course, a lot of people feed them here. You're gonna notice they've got these big cheeks well, that's because they can actually store their food in those cheeks. So what they do is they take as many of these nuts and seeds and whatever else it is, pack them in their cheeks, and then run down to their den and stockpile their den for the winter so they can get through those winter months. Now, of course, there are chipmunk species that, of course, do hibernate the winter away as well. Now, a couple other cool things about these guys is, believe it or not, these chipmunks, even though they spend the majority of their time in the rocks, can be arboreal most of their life, meaning they're going to spend a good portion of their life in the trees. That always surprises a lot of people. People. You're also going to hear these guys making chirping sounds. That's how they communicate with each other. But as you could imagine, up here in this extreme habitat, and of course in the wintertime, it's pretty rough up here, only 30% of these chipmunks make it through the wintertime. Survival rate is not high for these little critters up in this extreme habitat of the Beartooth Mountains. But they are pretty cute to see, pretty fun to watch. You're going to see some pretty big ones up here because they do get fed, as you can imagine, very well by the folks that come up here with their packets of seeds. But Nonetheless, pretty fun to watch them from a distance, I highly recommend. But guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here on the Beartooth Mountains.